drugs. Is the reporter Andrew still with you? Negative, man. We don't know what happened to him. It's looking like the Red Star may have grabbed him. I'll give you an update when we know more. Great. We have to babysit, too. Attention, stray dogs on the ground. This is what it's all been about. You work to secure all the refinery assets in the area. These assets are key to coalition energy policy. Get parts of that, man. We're on it. Man, we can't stop our forces guarding the oil facilities. Roger, recon confirmed enemy mobile combat units to the northeast and northwest of your position. You didn't see the difference.
large Red Star force moving towards the refinery complex. You've got to evacuate this site and regroup. What are you talking about? We just kicked their asses. Calm down, Braley. Man, what do you suggest we do? Red Star heavy armor is moving in with a lot more on the way. I'm sending a chopper to extract you. The first we're asking you to rescue that AP reporter, Andrew. That like Josie's been captured. Caspian Central Relay. Red Star's pouring over the Turkmenistan border. What? This is supposed to be a treaty. Think about it. Blackouts, starvation, disease, economies are nearly collapsed. The Caspian and all its oil, it, it's been a powder keg just waiting to blow. This World War III, Princeton? That's how it started. Was it World War III? We didn't know. But one thing we all knew, Red Star forces had hit hard. Nearly all of the coalition forces stationed in Turkmenistan were gone. At this point, the coalition began their first offensives of the war. The troops were ready, yet Red Star forces seemed to be everywhere. The fighting to claim energy assets all around the Caspian was brutal. But the biggest news was that the Chinese had invaded Taiwan. Things were really getting out of hand. As for the stray dogs, well, they were moving north now. They were about to unleash some inspired vengeance of their own. Sergeant Thompson always made sure of that. 